Our next fight of the evening is brought to you by Spearman Rhinos Dames and Games, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to this fight with a record of two wins and three losses. Both wins coming by way of knockout. He stands at six feet three inches tall and weighed in officially at 234.4 pounds. He fights and represents Watts MMA from Simi Valley, California, Nathan Bam Bam Muller. And his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist. He steps into the cage with a record of three wins and three losses. Two wins coming by way of knockout. He stands at six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 258.8 pounds, representing Triton from Hawthorne, California, David, the Puerto Rican Gorilla Sam. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Lee Cox. The cage has been reinforced. The door about to lock. The stage, given a little extra tonight. This is a heavyweight bout at the University of Mixed Martial Arts between Nathan Mullet in the blue corner, David Sands in the red corner. This is the U of MMA. It starts here. One thing you'll note about David Sands, moves quite limberly for a heavyweight. Yeah, some good side-to-side -side movement you see there. A lot of guys, especially him, who want to stand and bang, but good movement, good head movement as well. Well, you know, you look at Sands and you don't expect the type of spryness he has. Sure, sure, don't let that. He's got a little bit of a gut. Don't let the foyer. Oh, Nathan Mullet right away. Mullet inside on the single, finishes it on top. And as he does, he immediately gets to half guard. See if he just stays there. A lot of guys like to stay in half guard and land ground and pound. It's a good place to keep your opponent, but see if he works for a mount. So far, Mullet happy to land down some strikes. David Sands looked for a couple escapes, but Mullet on him tight. Yes, and Sands locking down that leg, trying to keep him from advancing any further. You get a, you three three-minute rounds for these more experienced amateurs. I was going to say, you get a heavyweight on you in the mount, it is hard to get him off. He's got his back now. Sands trying to escape out the back. Nathan Mullet doing a great job on back control, but Sands starting to spin. Oh, good scramble out of Sands to come out on top on that one. Great movement. And now it's David Sands' turn to rain down some ground and pound. Oh, they completely reverse positions on each other. Heavy shots, can't take a lot of those, man. Nathan Mullet looking for a way out. This ref doesn't look like he's gonna see a lot more, certainly not at the amateur level. He's covering up, he's gotta try and get that leg out. He's got it trapped right now, and Sands can just stay there and just hammer fist and hammer fist. He doesn't defend himself, he's gonna stop this fight. Oh, he's gotta hold the wrist too, he's essentially trapped. Referee looking very close, and now Nathan Mullet trying to reverse position. Still in half guard. Under a minute in the first round. Nearly getting the sweep there is Mullet. David Sands staying heavy. Interesting, this is not where Sands wanted the fight. He wanted to stay on his feet and bang with him. But you take what the fight gives you. And here we go, Mullet on top. The second reversal of the night. Oh, and he's making good use of it, too. Great job scoring on top from Mullet. Sam's doing a good job avoiding the damage, though, covering up and rolling with the punches. He is, but we see Mullet posting up right now, getting good posture. Oh, now he's down. As David Sands said before the fight, he has been here before. Excellent grappling effort from both these heavyweights. That was great. And what's great for David is that they get to start on their feet coming out again. Ooh, little nasty welt developing on the forehead of David Sands. Oh, man. Hard shots. Nathan Mullet took his damage, too. He did. He's over there. He's taking deep breaths. David Sands looks very calm and collected, though, in the corner. Well, that's nine fights under your belt. Exactly. When you've got to dig it down deep, man, that's where the experience comes to play. 
So interesting looking at that fight. You have Nathan Mullet on top on the front end, and then the reversal, and then the second reversal. Do you think that it's probably a, a Nathan Mullet round because he started at the, the top and ended at the top? It's hard to say. I would give it to Nathan Mullet because I think the shots he landed inflicted more damage, you know? Position-wise, it was about equal. Well, let's see what happens in round number two. Will David Sands impose his will? Will Nathan Mullet add more time on the top? Sands stalking forward. Mullet immediately clinches. Right away, trying to put him up against the fence. Probably going right for that takedown as well. Yep, he picks him down. He's got and this is a tough place. David Sands trapped against the cage. Yeah, he's got him in side control right now. Oh, he's trying to pin down that arm so he can move to a mount of crucifix. In that case, he will be stuck, and it's a long night for David Sands at that point. Did Nathan Mullet by chance watch Khabib Nurmagomedov's fight? Oh, man. <laughs> a grappling master. David Sands trying to punch his way out from the bottom. Yeah, that's not the best strategy. I mean, you gotta do what you can, but it's best to get a Big close. left hands from Nathan Mullet. David Sands, he needs to use his feet, and push off against that fence, and try and create space so he can get up. Nathan Mullet in a really dominant spot here. Yeah, and as long as he stays close like that, he's just gonna stick to him like glue and rain down punches, man. And there goes Sands trying to create that space. Oh, and that's the fight, yeah. Rex saw enough. Just all the random. That's it. Nathan Mullet puts it away in the second round. Great performance by Nathan Mullet coming in and imposing his will, doing exactly what he wanted to do. Nathan Mullet improves his record to even at three wins and three losses with that round two technical knockout. David Sands, really, really tough. Really gritty guy, just got caught in some tough positions tonight. He did, he just got stuck. I mean, we saw that first round, it was dead even. I really didn't know. I thought I'd give it to Nathan, but in the end, in that second round, he just had him trapped against the fence, man. Well, you were talking about that, that positional issue where he got trapped there against the fence and was trying to find some way out. You know, one thing that you, you typically don't want to do is punch from the bottom, although with a guy like David Sands Power, you could probably put someone out from that position. Yeah, yeah, some people can do it. Some people can, your eye haul you from the bottom, but oh, it's hard, man. It's hard. Nathan Mullet has moved around a little bit with his camps, but it seems like he's found a pretty good home at Watson MMA and Point Dog Muay Thai, now riding a two-fight win streak. He looked great, and I think he's gonna look even better at 205 pounds. Oh yes, think of how much you're gonna get, how much more energy he'll have there, how much more mobility he'll have there. Yeah, and he might have had, he probably had a speed advantage coming in here against David Sands, being a little bit smaller than him, but I think Nathan Mullet would be a beast at light heavy. No scorecards necessary. Let's head inside the cage and make things official with Salvador Ariano. The third man in the ring, Lee Cox, brings a fight to a halt one minute, 10 seconds into the second round. Your winner by way of technical, technical knockout out of the blue corner, Nathan Bam Bam. Let's give it up for both these guys. Holy heavyweight grappling. That was amazing. Yeah. Hey, like I said, are you not entertained? So knowing that you were coming here with such a heavy hitting opponent, was it your plan to go to the ground? Oh, from day one. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going 205. Started fighting at heavyweight. So drop it down. Yeah. We're looking forward to seeing it. That was exciting. You want to thank your fans and your friends? Coach Poy, Robert, Dion, Patrick, everyone at MMA. Tom Schwanick, wherever you are. That's my strength coach. He's helped me so much in my life. My mom, everybody, my girlfriend, Allison. I love you. Praise God. I'm out. Give it up for your winner. What? What? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Oh, uh, they're gonna go, he's gonna go have a post-fight meal. Give it up for him.